hi guys good evening welcome to crisp digitals this is Chris I'm here to show you guys um, something I created uh, for people who want to just have uh, already made um, banner or binder I created something for you guys you guys can go down at the link in the description and you can download this okay uh, welcome to my channel once again and if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and hit the bell not notification button button so you will be notified when I upload new videos all right guys um today I would like to show you guys something I created it's not this one you're seeing right now okay I think in my own opinion it's probably better than what you're looking at right now um, you guys will like it please don't forget to hit the um, like button and leave a comment down below and share this video please all right guys let's let me show you what I'm giving you guys today for free for those who want to um, create a binder but are not able to create it or cannot follow the step-by-step -step, um, video that I made this one was um, created using PowerPoint and the ones I'm going to show you guys were also created using PowerPoint so if you want a video on how I did those um, let me know down below I can make a video tutorial on how to do those but today I will be giving those um, binders for free you can download them again um, in the link below alright so this is what you guys will be um, downloading right here alright so it's free for you guys to download it and this comes with the with my logo crisp digitals it comes with already made um, app and this um, 2020 calendar you don't have to use this if you don't want to use this if you want to use this it's fine you can just download this and start using it you don't need to give any attribution that's fine it's free for you guys to use all right or if or you can just use this one instead that is free there is no um, logo there is no app there is no calendar on it so it's different from it's the same as this but with this I just added my logo and calendar and these apps and again you can make these apps here clickable all right you can make them they are not clickable right now all I'm saying is you can make them clickable with the videos I've shown you guys already so you can download this or download this to use and the this is the dark mode okay so if you want your calendar to be dark mode this is the one you will use all right and again you can use this and for example you can do a table right here let me just do an example for you guys so let's say you want to do uh, um, the month of April so you can put it right there and you can adjust if you want you don't have to adjust you can leave it the way it is now you can just start, start typing let's say Sunday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And you can highlight all of this and you go to home and bring this drop down button and go to middle, center. You insert, you can center that. Or you can also make this dark. And you can drag this I'm holding alt key on my keyboard and I'm just moving this bring the center in the middle and you can just start typing um, like April be begins in begins on a Wednesday so you just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten
you get it you guys get what I'm trying to do just trying to put all the dates in all right so that's it so you can use this as your as your planner by just having this dark mode and using this template binder that I've prepared you can do more stuff with this I'm sure I have, I have videos you know that you can watch that I've created so many things using um, just links and and um, tables created so many things with just links and tables so this is just an example of things you can do you can copy this and I can just move that that was a control C or command C if you're using Apple and just just move that so I control V by pasting that all right so you can do a whole lot of things with with this um with this binder if you want and again it's free you guys can download it in the description below all right so that's the dark one so let's go to the light one so here is the white um, spiral banner insert same as the dark one but it's just white okay again you can use this one as is and just do whatever you want to do with it or you can use this one and customize it the way you want to customize it all right and this also you can do what i did with the dark one create a calendar here a month of the of the year and then do whatever i want to do in this space all right and here is the download link i'm going to paste in the description so you guys can click on that and download it and it's going to come like this in your file in your download file it's going to come like this right here all right this is where it's going to come like so you can right click and you go to extract file so you want to go to that or you want to go to 7-zip if you don't have 7-zip it's free you can download it it's free to download it just search on google 7-zip you can download that um, that app and you can use that to extract the file just click extract here it's just going to extract everything from this file and it's going to arrange them like this ones here okay I've already extracted it I don't want to do it again so again when you double when you um, right click on this if you already have 7 zip you can use that and go to extract file and just click extract file here okay so you want to go to extract file here all right and you click on that as soon as you click on that it's going to run through and it's going to give you your files here then you can come over here into your um, one note and for example you can just say you want to add one of the notes here I already added them here but I'm going to show you how to add them so you can go to add page and you can go through insert and go through print out I usually just drop them for some reason if I go through print out my computer throws an error so I normally go through my file here i open it and i just grab let's say i want to grab this dark spiral i just grab it and i drop it down there and i go down here and it shows me here and this is the png ones okay so i just like drag it and i resize them the way i want and that's it you see and then i go right click and i make it a background I set a picture as background so now you can you can type on it and it doesn't move okay see it doesn't move it's now part of the background of OneNote all right so that's how you can um, insert those um, insert those images on your OneNote you let me let me do another one for you guys so you can go to 
the file again let's try a pdf one so mind you this picture was one that i created already those are png no background you can use them anywhere and these ones are pdf so i'm going to drag this and i'm going to put it there now you can go to insert a sprint when you click on that it's going to show you the small one then the big one all you have to do now is go to um, view click on view and click on page width click on that so now it gives you that and now you can scroll take this out and I can drag this up holding your alt key and now you can resize as you please and you can move it where you want it to go all right so now you can right click and go to set picture as background and you can do whatever you want to do again here you can put your tables right there because now it's part of the background this is part of the background and you can do all your designs and everything you wish to do on your one note using this template i hope you like this i hope you you are able to download it if you have any problems downloading the file let me know in the comment below if you have any problem whatsoever with the images um, if you don't still know how to upload the images onto your OneNote please also let me know down below and again thank you for watching and I really appreciate you guys for showing me some love and giving me thumbs up and sharing these videos i really appreciate you guys and i hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful evening thank you and god bless bye bye